Hey everybody, I just realized that this was the perfect opportunity to show you a little trick I'd been telling people about. So, um, there was some discussion about getting kind of the most out of a uh, two-ply so you don't end up with like the weird amount left on one bobbin when the other bobbin runs out if you didn't have it exactly even. So what I like to do, and I think it would depend on fiber, but with this merino it hides it really well, is I will break the yarn so that you know what's coming off you've got kind of like two ends and one's usually kind of fuzzier than the other and then I take the bobbin that still has yarn left on it and I wind it into like make kind of a little ball on my hand and then when I get to what I judge to be about an even amount I break that yarn off so now I have kind of half of what was left on this bobbin and the other half in this little ball and then what I do, and like I said, this is not, I was not planning on making a video, but um, then you take one end, and these will be kind of uneven. See how this one's kind of longer than this one? And you just start slow, and you get it, you know, twisting like you would for a two-ply. And this bobbin's really full, too. But, um, so you get it twisting like a two-ply, and then you take one end. This is the end off the little ball, which I just dropped on the floor and kind of connect it in, I kind of put it in with the fuzzier one. You don't have to have a fuzzier one, but you just, you put it in on that end, and then you feed it in so that it connects. And then, so now that's connected in. So now I have a long end here that's connected to the ball, and then I've got this kind of like little tail. So then I'm gonna take this other end from off the bobbin, and you can stick them together. And like I said, the merino really holds on to itself well, so this may work better with some fibers than, you know, like it might not work as good with silk or maybe alpaca or something. But this merino, you know, it felt easy and likes to hold on to itself. So then you establish that twist going there, and then you can finish your two-ply from half on the bobbin and the other half from this ball on the floor. And, uh... I mean, I, you can never, I mean, I can't even find, I think it was right here. I mean, you can't even, I'm trying to like get it in the camera. And like I said, it depends on what yarn you're making, but I mean, it's very strong. Um, I think it was kind of right here because I recognized the color change, but I mean, I definitely can't ever see it. So then you just keep on uh, two-plying like usual. And then that way, uh, you know, you really don't end up with the weird leftover bit and you get it, your maximum yardage of a uh, two-plied yarn. And like I said, that's on a... And then I always recommend wet setting your yarn, um, you know, where you put it on a nitty knotty and then wet it. And I think that also helps kind of, you know, get the two pieces to really hang, fuse everything back together. So uh, that was something I'd promised I would show a little video on and I just happened to be at the perfect place to do it.